There is power in my name, said the Lord. There is power in my name. And many times you get up and you go throughout the day and you keep declaring a decree, but you can't see the things that I've done for thee because you keep so focused on the problem that you face. So I say to you this day, understand, come and believe that I died to set you free. That I died to set you free. I shed my son's blood on the cross of Calvary for you, said the Lord. For you, said the Lord. So you can come and you can dine with me. And sometimes you get up every single day, you walk out the door, but you carry around the same bag that you carry from day to day. And you carry your baggage from place to place. And I declare unto you right now, come and lay your baggage down at the altar today. And let not it weigh you down, said the Lord. Let not it weigh you down, said the Lord. For I declare unto you right now that if you take the time to examine yourself and you come and you face the reality, you'll say, Lord, Lord, this is what I'm dealing with and this baggage I no longer want to carry away with today today, said the Lord. So I say unto you right now, will you examine yourself today? Will you examine the baggage that you carry? And once and for all, will you come and lay it down at my feet? Will you come and lay it down at my feet? For I say unto you this day, you can change toe bags, you can change purses, but if you never come and sit at my feet, you're carrying the same baggage from place to place. And I say unto you right now, it is time to lay down the attitudes. It is time to lay down, yes, the bitterness. It is time to lay down the doubt. It is time to lay down your selfishness. It is time to come and dine with me. So I say unto you this day, as you examine yourself, you've got to come, you've got to open up your bag and look inside and see what you're carrying with me. And I declare unto you right now that if you come and as you stand before me and as you dig deep inside of that baggage, you'll pull out the chain that you carry from place to place. And as you begin to speak my word, the chain will fall. So I declare unto you right now, will you stand firm in me and will you stand up to me, said the Lord, and declare the truth of the reality the reason why you're still in the place that you was 12 months ago is because you decided not to come and dine with me. So I say, will you open up your bag today? Will you take out the chain and let it fall from your neck and be can to come and be a slave unto me, said the Lord? And I declare unto you, I will show you the reality of me that I want for you. So I say, open up your bag today. Open up your bag today and dig deep in that bag and go down to the bottom and pull out the chain that has so easily ensnared you and kept you from coming to me totally and let it fall off your life today and come and be and stand with me. So I declare to you right now that as I speak to you, I say move from your seat and come and lay your baggage at my feet. The pride, the envy, the anxiety, the doubt, the confusion, the anger, the bitterness, the old ways that you say, Lord, Lord, I've given my life to you and I have a new way, but those old ways are still manifesting inside of thee. I say, don't come and declare it to me. I am new when you're still living in the old. I say, you've got to move from that place of old and come and be a new creature in me. So I say, it is time now for you once and for all to dig inside of your baggage and pull out that chain and let it fall from thee. And I say, come and lay down your baggage at my feet this day and declare and decree that you are new inside of me and live the life that I've called you to be. So I say, move, 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 move quickly this day, said the Lord. Move quickly right now from your seat. Come to the altar. Lay it down once and for all and declare the baggage that I carry and forward that no longer will be carried by me. And I declare to you right now that the chain will fall off of thee. So I say, move, move, move right now, said the Lord. Move those who doubt. Move those who are in envy. Move those who are in anger. Move those who are in problem. Move those who are contradicting everything that my word says. Move this day. And I say, come and let the chains come off of thee. And let not your baggage be carried from place to place. But come and live new inside of me. The hurt that you have to the Lord. I want to take that hurt and I'm going to give you peace. <laughs> that doubt or confusion that you have to the Lord, I want to take that from me and give you a plan of responsibility. So this is the day that I have laid aside just for thee. Moving into 2018, I say you cannot take the baggage that you've carried for the last several years. I say lay it down once for me. Dig deep and pull out the chain and let it be broken off for thee. And come and live your life and the expectations of me. Don't allow pride to keep you 
from moving from your seats today because pride is what kept Satan out of heaven. Pride is what caused him to be kicked out of heaven. And I declare to you right now that God is saying that if you come and you trust me, I'll break it once and for all. I'll break it once and for all. Sandale be kie broche te de meti anda na makonda. Doria se de beti shini ende la makusa. Dora sita anda le meti shini ende. Dora sita la makonda la matanda da la matonda. Dora sika anda lo mati shini ende. I sent my son to come and serve thee and to step before me a place for you in eternity. So I declare unto you right now, let your pride be thrown down and come and you serve me. For I declare unto you right now that I've called you by your name. I've called you by your name. I've called you by your name. So won't you respond now and come and dine with me. So I say unto you this day that passiveness is over, said the Lord. In 2018, I'll confront you where you stand to realign you to be inside of me so that when the blessings begin to pour out, that you will be the one that will receive and not be on the outside looking in saying, Lord, when is it going to be my time? Your time is now, said the Lord. Your time is now. Come on, just lift up your hands and just worship him right now. Come on. Come on. You know if you need to be at the altar right now, don't let pride keep you. Don't let somebody beside you keep you. Just go and come right now and fill up this place. Fill up the seats. Find a place. Kneel down and begin to say, Lord, Father God, I'm sorry and I repent, Lord, Father God, for allowing my flesh to override, for allowing my thought process to override, for allowing my actions, my negativity to override, Lord. I want to be in submission to you, and I want to follow after you, Lord, Father. Come on.
the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. You don't have to live tired. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Break every chain. I think you Break every chain. Break Come on. every chain. Break every Let's sing that chorus again. There's power. Let's sing that chorus again. There's power. In the name of Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't allow the enemy to speak into your ear and tell you because you've not received that I have not heard. For I declare unto you right now that when you're in right standing with me and your heart is in right standing with me, the moment you speak, the moment you begin to prophesy, I hear from heaven and I dispatch the angels on your behalf. Don't you remember Daniel? Don't you remember Daniel? For 21 days the king of Persia withstood him as he began to pray unto me. So I declare unto you right now, stand your ground, stand your ground, stand your ground. Don't allow the enemy to come in to tell you that I don't want to do for you what I've done for somebody else because I show no partiality that what I've done for somebody else won't do for you. So I declare unto you right now, don't allow the enemy to come in to declare to you and to speak into your ear and tell you that God does not want to do it. He does not hear because I do hear from heaven and I do dispatch my angels. So I say, let your faith be elevated in me. Let your belief be elevated in me and begin to learn to prophesy using my words that will not return void. And I declare to you this day, said the Lord, that I have not left you alone. I have not forgotten you. Stand your ground. Stand your ground because the angels have been dispatched on your behalf. That's something to shout about. Hallelujah. Lord, we